Composition instead of inheritance. React has a powerful composition model and we recommend using composition instead of inheritance to reuse code between components. In this section, we will consider a few problems where developers new to React often reach for inheritance and show how we can solve these with composition. The first one is containment. Some components don't know their children ahead of time. This is especially common for components like sidebar or dialog that represent generic boxes. We recommend that such components use the special children probe to pass children elements directly into their output. Let's create a fancy border in action and see how it works. First of all, go to this link and fork the React start point. Here we want to create a functional component fancy border function fancy border which accepts the probes and inside this function will return the div which inside the div we use the special probes which is children here we set the class to fancy border we will create later and we can add another class to this one like this fancy border plus fancy border dash plus probes dot color we will be able to pass a color which join to fancy border dash and make a class here great let's use the fancy border components beside h1 and set the color to green and inside the fancy border say hello fancy border and close fancy border tag like this very good you see the fancy border here but we need to add a css to fancy border in the CSS part, border 10, 5 pixel, solid, black, and we add padding 10 pixel, and border radius also 10 pixel. Also, we add a fancy border dash green which is another class it just changed the color of border to green as you see we created a fancy border here the important part of this code is props.children and it means anything inside the fancy border will be passed as a probes.children to fancy border components. Let's make a welcome dialog with fancy border. This lets other components pass arbitrary children to them by nesting the JSX. 
here we will create a welcome dialog here function which accept probes <coughs> and return fancy border color green and inside that we use h1 tag its value is probes that title and paragraph tag with its value is props dot body and let's close the fancy border here and use we we'll get rid of fancy border here and use welcome components with title which is welcome and body hello you you see here we create a fancy border uh, we created a welcome dialog which uses fancy border inside it and the h1 is welcome and the body is hello you great anything inside the fancy border j6 tag gets passed into the fancy border component as a children probe. Since fancy border render probes that children inside the div, the past element appears in the final output. While this is less common, sometimes you might need multiple holes in a component. In such cases, you may come up with your own convention instead of using children. Let's create a, a split pan which have a different split pan for left and right and uses them inside the app. First of all, we need to start with the React start point. and fork the react start point then here we want to create a, a split pan which accepts probes and it returns a div which its class is a split pan and inside the main div we have two div the first one class is split pan left And the second one class is a split pan right. And inside each one we use probes dot left, which is the content of left split pan. And inside the split panel right, we put probes.write. 
let's use basically pan inside app component split pan the first one is left which is a jsx let's create a paragraph here i'm left pan and close the paragraph and the right property is another paragraph which is I'm right and close great let's format the code inside the CSS part we can set the display to table and or split panel left table cell or split panel right also table cell and here we can create a border one pixel solid green and here one pixel solid blue also we can create padding As you see, we created this element. This is the left band. This is the right band. So this is a type of containment. You can put any code inside the left band and right band here, and. Uh, you can implement the containment pattern with this code. React elements like contacts and chat are just objects. So you can pass them as a probes like any other data. This approach may remind you of a slot in other libraries, but there are no limitations on what you can pass as a probes in React. Let's see how a specialization works. Sometimes we think about component as a being a special cases of other component. For example, we might say that a welcome dialogue is a special case of dialogue. In React, this is also achieved by composition, where a more specific component renders a more generic one and configures it with props. Let's Go back to sample about welcome dialogue. We want to create a generic dialogue components. Let's rename the welcome dialogue to dialogue. And we want to create a login dialogue. Based on the generic component dialogue you see here we use the dialogue components and we convert the probes that body to probes that children and anything inside the children like label 
username input type text and password Submit and the title of that dialogue is Login. Here we use the dialog component and we created a special version of the dialog component which is login dialog and inside the code we use login dialog as you see here we have a login dialog which specializes the dialog with its children and inside the app component we have used the login dialog also, we can set property, for example, title and set login form and pass it to login dialog and change the title to probes.title. You see, change to login dialog. So, what about inheritance? At Facebook, the users react in thousands of components and they haven't found any use cases where they would recommend creating components inheritance hierarchies. Probes and composition give you all the flexibility you need to customize a component's look and behavior in an explicit and safe way. Remember that components may accept arbitrary probes including primitive values, react elements, or functions. If you want to reuse a non-UI functionality between components, we suggest extracting it into a separate JavaScript module. The components may import it and use the function, object, or a class without extending it. So what you learned in this lesson was how to implement containment and specialization with component composition in React.